I'm going to demonstrate how to use the uh, press and peel blue transfer paper to transfer a circuit pattern onto a piece of copper clad board. First of all, whenever you're printing onto your press and peel blue paper, you'll notice that there is a shiny reflective side and a dull side. You're going to print onto the dull side. Now, I'm going to cut one of my prints out. And actually, while I'm cutting it out, I have my iron here set to, uh, if you can see that, pretty high. It's on the setting between polyester and rayon. And I'm going to prep my copper board by just laying this on top just like that and I'm gonna he it'll heat up the copper to make it easier to put my circuit pattern on okay. now I have my circuit Shiny side, dull side, circuits printed on the dull side. Now, don't touch the copper plate, it's going to be hot. I use a fork. I also have a bowl of water here for me to cool it all off when I'm done. Now, what I'm going to do, dull side down. It's already prepped pretty well, so I can just tap it on here. Before we get too far in, I want you to see that's what it looks like right now. You can see the pattern, but not as well as you're going to be able to see it. It does not take very long to iron these things on. And I'll show you how the pattern changes whenever you're ready to peel it off. I'll take the iron and just Press it on and heat the whole thing for just a few seconds. Uh, let's give it 20 seconds. Try not to move the iron around too much at first. You're just trying to get it to seal on, seal on to the copper. All right. Now. I'm just going to make sure each part is ironed on. See, now you can see that more of the circuit is showing out through the back of the paper than there was before. That's what you want to see on all your circuit. I like leaving these little tags off the end so I can have something to hold on to. Make sure you get the edges in the center of the circuit. Before you do this, you'll have a clean copper board. You'll scrub it down with some soft steel wool or one of those green scrubby pads. And then you'll clean it off with some acetone and that's how you prep the uh, copper board itself. All right. Now you'll see that most of it's showing up, showing through here. Um, if I get focused, there we go. Most of it's showing very well through the back end. Over here you have some lighter spots. I'm just going to focus on those real quickly with the tip of my iron and then I'll be ready to cool it off and pull the peel back. Remember, do not have steam going on your iron. This needs to be a dry heat.
Okay, that looks good. Bring my cooling bowl over here. This is hot, so I use a fork and I just drop the whole thing into the cooling bowl. Let it sit for a second. And that should be long enough. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Now, I don't want water to get all over the ink. So what I do is I have a napkin ready. And I just pat it dry. Don't rub it dry. Don't shift anything around. Just pat it dry. And for the reveal. To make sure it's focused, all right? You can see the circuit very clearly this time. Got some touch up to do in the corner there. And that's really pretty good. Okay, I was a little sloppy back here. Whenever you, you and that's the circuit. I need to do some touch up over here. If I was a little bit more careful when I was peeling it, that could have helped, or I could have paid more attention and pressed with the iron a little bit longer on that corner. See this, how it all bleeds together? If your iron is on too hot, or if you smear it around, or if water gets in through the sides whenever you're cooling it off, it'll smear your ink like that. It's not too hard to get off though. Uh, just take some acetone and wipe it off. So if I wasn't happy with that because of that, the uh, let's say I, I'm not happy with it because of the smear. First of all, before I erase it, see all these? That's how it comes out when you come when it comes out cleanly. It's very easy. This usually happens when I get water on it during my cool off. A little bit of acetone on my rag. And it's clean. Now I can redo it. So what I'll do is I will finish cleaning this up, reapply a circuit to it, etch it, and I'll show you what you get after you etch. Here it is. After I etch that circuit, it comes out looking like this. All those traces that came off of here onto the board, put an etching solution and it protects all that copper from etching off. So now you have a circuit board.